And I'll bring you more news from the international front. Asian shares are down for a seventh straight session today after a renewed spike in European energy prices stoked fears of a recession and pushed bond yields even higher while tipping the euro to 20-year lows. European stocks followed Asian equities trading pattern today as received the euro stock 50 features and FTSE features both off around 0.2% after sliding overnight. Benchmark gas prices in the European Union surged 13% overnight to a record peak, having doubled in just a month to be 14 times higher than the average of the past decade. Chinese blue chips were off 0.5% having received only a fleeting lift from the latest policy easing. China's yuan fell to an almost two-year low, as we also see MSI's broadest index of Asia. Pacific shares outside Japan dipping 0.9% to hit a one-month low and has fallen every day in the past week. The Nikkei also lost 1.3% after a PMI survey showed that factory activities in Japan slowed to a 19-month low this month amid persistent rises in raw materials and energy costs. S&P 500 features and Nasdaq features both edged 0.1% lower, falling sharp falls early in Monday when rise in bond yields undermined tech shares. And looking at other verses now, the Moscow exchange is set to ban the use of dollars as collateral to underwrite transactions in its latest move as Russia seeks to cut dependence on currencies of nations that have imposed sanctions on it. A statement posted on the exchange's website says that the new policy would come into effect come next Monday, that's August the 29th, and it, it gave no further details. Now, earlier in the month, the exchange and the country's largest bursts that it would limit the use of dollars as collateral to 25% from 50%. Russian authorities have also voiced concerns about individual and corporate holdings of currencies that are terms unfriendly, calling for their conversation into alternatives. The United States and its allies have also imposed several rounds of sanctions, including those targeting the country's largest lenders and Vladimir Putin since Russian forces invaded Ukraine in February this year. And now a gas levy on German consumers meant to help utilities cover the cost of replacing Russian supplies could change as soon as this winter. Well, that's the stance of the managing director of the German gas market operator Trading Hub Europe, Torsten Frank. Now, the Trading Hub Europe had set the charge, which will be imposed from the 1st of October this year through March 2024, at two euros and 41 cents per kilowatt per hour earlier this month now the government wants to spread the cost of the levy to all consumers to keep companies liquid enough to maintain an intact gas market russia will halt natural gas supplies to europe for three days at the end of this month according to energy giant gazprom on friday piling more pressure on the continent as it seeks to refuel ahead of winter